Tesla CEO Elon Musk recently noted that his company would be completing the engineering of the new Tesla Roadster as soon as possible in order to bring the supercar into production by 2022. The company is expected to release new engineering prototypes of the new electric Roadster sometime this summer. Previously, Mr. Musk had stated that Tesla was integrating the new Model S Platt's tri-motor powertrain into the new Roadster, but now it appears that the automaker could be improving the powertrain technology as well. This would arguably turn the upcoming all-electric supercar into an EV even more spectacular than its prototype. When the next-generation Roadster was revealed back in November of 2017, Mr. Moss claimed that the vehicle would come with 10,000 newton meter wheel torque, which is already phenomenal in its own right. With insane RPMs, no doubt that the upcoming Tesla Roadster will deliver some monstrous amounts of power. Combine this with its rocket thrusters and a 620-mile range, the next-generation Roadster could truly stand above the recently released Model S Plaid, effectively justifying the Roadster's estimated starting price of over $200,000. The next-generation Tesla Roadster is the spiritual successor of the car that started it all for the automaker. Though the original all-electric supercar was based on the Lotus Elise, the new Tesla Roadster is designed and built from scratch by the company. This opens the way for some magnificent specs and performance that would likely have to be seen to be believed. For instance, an acceleration from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 1.1 seconds, along with SpaceX boosters. A few days after the Silicon Valley automaker, Tesla held the delivery event for its redesigned Model S Plaid at Fremont Factory. Tesla CEO Elon Musk has continued to share more and more details about the vehicle's carbon-wrapped electric motors. In a series of posts on Twitter, the tech mogul Mr. Musk elaborated on details of Tesla's new tri-motor drivetrain that the company originally started developing for the forthcoming second-generation Roadster. For starters, the next-generation Roadster is an all-electric supercar that's expected to be Tesla's undisputed halo car. Musk noted that this key innovation for the refreshed version of the electric sedan could unlock more power for the next-generation Roadster. His updates about Tesla's new plaid carbon-wrapped motor came as a response to a Tesla boo who requested to know whether the carbon fiber sleeves of the Model S plaid's rotors are pressed on or direct wound. In his response, Tesla CEO Mr. Musk stated that, quote, fiber is wound over the rotor at high tension load, end quote. Tesla developed a new machine to help in this work. Carbon sleeve must put the copper rotor in compression or it loosens at low temp due to differential thermal expansion. Preload is also helpful for maintaining a precise gap to the stator. During the presentation, Mr. Musk noted that production of Tesla's new plaid carbon-wrapped motors was facilitated by Tesla Automation. Interestingly enough, Tesla Grumman Automation in Germany has been undergoing a massive expansion, according to the reports from EV owners in the country. This expansion is expected to bring more activity to the plant, particularly as Tesla Gigafactory Berlin commences its local operations. Mr. Musk also highlighted several key advantages that Tesla's carbon-coated motor has over its predecessors. In a note, Musk praised the motor for having stronger electromagnetic fields as opposed to a rotor bound by metals of high strength, such as steel. With this new technology, motors are capable of achieving insane RPMs and single speed from 0 to 200 miles per hour. This is because, at super high revolutions per minute, the carbon overlap stops the copper from expanding due to the centrifugal force. In a later tweet, the techno king of Tesla noted that these new milestones had given the automaker an idea to push its new motors to a greater level of performance. Again, in the same series of tweets, Elon Musk claimed that Tesla's new carbon-wrapped motor is, quote, arguably the most advanced motor on Earth, end quote. But he touted that his car company is working on increasing the torque and maximum RPM for the new Roadster. Quote, we have a few ideas for increasing torque and max RPM even further for the new Roadster. Definitely fun and exciting engineering ahead, end quote. Mr. Musk wrote in a Twitter post. 
In other news, Tesla's extended the estimated delivery time for new orders of Model Y long-range variants in the United States to September. That's an increase of about two weeks from now, meaning the Tesla Model Y long-range version is already sold out in the third quarter, even though we are still in the middle of June, second quarter. It would be safe to say that the demand for this non-performance Model Y is skyrocketing as the company hiked its prices several times to $52,490 plus $3,500. Immediately after the all-electric compact SUV was rolled out in March last year, Tesla boss Elon Musk predicted that the compact crossover would become more popular than the company's most affordable car, the Model 3. Already, the Model Y has overtaken its little brother in local and foreign markets like California and China. The all-electric crossover is a very versatile car and without a doubt, people are to purchase it more than the all-electric sedan. As the American EV maker continues to strengthen its production capacity for all of its cars, the Model Y remains the focus of the automaker as it expands production into other markets across the world. The Model Y and the Cybertruck will take the center stage when Tesla Gigafactory Texas starts operations by the end of the year. The ramp up in Europe also progresses quite nicely, with Tesla's first Gigafactory in Germany expected to manufacture the Model Y straight out of the gate later this year. However, the demand for the non-performance Model 3 is becoming a bit overwhelming for the automaker, as it aims to complete the Gigafactory Texas and Gigafactory Berlin by the end of 2021. The automaker's cars are gaining popularity in so many regions, making the delivery dates to be pushed back. As the transition to sustainable energy continues to gain momentum, there is a need for Tesla to add more production facilities to meet the ever-increasing demand for EVs. Earlier in May, it was reported that Tesla had already sold out for the second quarter production volume thanks to the increasing demand. Although that's still an impressive accomplishment, the automaker is already beginning to deliver for the second quarter with at least one of its cars. The Tesla Model Y long-range version is proving to be the best-selling electric car, as the company is setting the earliest possible date to take delivery in September, which is the final month of the third quarter for 2021. Tesla's implemented several changes to the Model Y this year, the most notable being the deletion of a lumbar support feature in the passenger's seat. The automaker also removed radar sensors in the Model Y and Model 3 and replaced them with a camera-based system for its autopilot and full self-driving program. Despite ditching the aforementioned features and increasing the price of the Model Y, the demand for Tesla cars is still soaring thanks to growing demand, world-class EV tech and improving vehicle quality. The Model Y outsold the Model 3 in April, according to recent registration figures by EV sales blog. Approximately 16,232 units of the SUV were sold out, compared to 14,980 units of Model 3s. The all-electric sedan, however, is title of the most popular EV in 2021, with Model Y in the third place after China's Wuling Hongguang Mini EV. Tesla CEO Elon Musk also predicted that the Model Y would be the best-selling EV worldwide by 2022. Quote, when it comes to Model Y, we think Model Y will be the best-selling car or vehicle of any kind in the world and probably next year, end quote. Elon Musk said earlier this year during the first quarter earnings call. So I'm not 100% certain next year, but I think it's quite likely. I'd say more likely than not that in 2022, Model Y will be the best-selling car or truck of any kind in the world, Musk added. It is important to note that the Tesla Model Y was the first electric vehicle in the automaker's history to be profitable in its first quarter of production. The demand for the all-electric crossover and its evident growth as per sales figures from different reputable bodies bodes well for the automaker's financials. Tesla will aim for its eighth consecutive profitable quarter when it announces its second quarter earnings in the coming few months. Make sure to check out one of the videos shown on your screen right now. We post videos daily, so feel free to subscribe and stay up to date on all most recent news and updates.